Hey guys, Anna TV here, and welcome back to another speed build. This is a speed build, if you can already tell, of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza from the game Five Nights at Freddy's. And if you don't know about this game, then where have you been? This is has been one of the most popular horror games of all time, I would say. And there's a lot of hate on it, and a lot of love on it. So, <laughs> um. I was actually inspired by the get to work security cameras to do this build. I know it's really weird to say, but like I was streaming and I saw the security camera and I'm like, oh, you know what would be really cool? A Freddy Fazbear build. So I wrote it down and that's what I did. I built Freddy Fazbear's pizza. Now if you want this build, it is up on my gallery. I will um, write my gallery name in the description down below. Now, for the Freddy Fazbear's door, there actually is no door in the game. No, well, there is, obviously, but no one knows where it is. Because, technically, you can't leave the franchise. So... I just assumed that where, that's where the door would be, based on the camera location. And also, I actually did do the actual layout of the map, um, like when you're flipping through cameras. Here I'm making the bathroom and the stalls. At first it was just going to be one big bathroom, and then I'm like, you know what, let's do stalls. I feel like that's more of what's in the game. So... And then, as you can tell, there's certain rooms which are very, very familiar. And so... You, if, you, if you know the game, then you know what I'm talking about when I talk about some things. Also, I felt like this flooring was perfect, and I really couldn't find a wall that would match, so I used that wall. Um, it kind of matches the one in the game, but not really, but we're gonna say it does. There's a lot of things when I was building this room, like, oh, is this okay? This doesn't quite look like the actual game, but no one really knows. So, Oh, and right now I am building, um, Foxy's Pirate Cove. This is based off the first game, just saying. So, and I had move objects on, and I was trying to figure out how to arrange these curtains in a way that it would look like Foxy's Pirate Cove. Um, but all the purples were, like, different colors, or it just wasn't working. And he kept getting stuck to the wall, as you can see me frustratingly trying to rotate the curtains, and I'm like, oh, so EA, if anyone from EA, or knows anyone from EA, can, can we just have like a full curtain, like a closed curtain, can that be a thing? Because <laughs> there's a lot of builds where I'm like, oh, that would be cool, but it's not a thing in the game. Also those lights, those stage lights, I've actually never used them in a build because they're unlockable, um, but I didn't know that they actually or like stage lights, like actual like different colors. So I actually really like that. And I'm just making a stage here, and um, I didn't want to use stuffed animals because one, there is no chicken stuffed animals. So I used mannequins and made them the actual colors of the um, animatronics. And here I'm just changing the pose. I go on and change the poses again and stuff, and I'll go on and dress them. Oh, by the way, this is a retail store, I'm pretty sure I didn't say that, so this is a retail store. And then when I dress them, I actually do not have the um, outdoor retreat pack, so I don't have the bear costume, so we go on. We, we try to make them look correct. Um, I'm giving Freddy his microphone and also entering a bunch of cheat codes. Freddy has a microphone, Bonnie's guitar, well, banjo. Bonnie technically plays the banjo, but electric guitar works. It's not even electric, that's acoustic. What am I talking about? And I don't know what I was searching for there because I'm looking at a very small window. Oh, that's right, I was looking for stars to hang from the ceiling, and actually I was going through um, the, the, the um, build stuff, 
and I saw like a really cool hanging space light. I'm like, oh, I should have used that. Use that. That would have been cool, but I didn't think of it. So, going around placing balloons. This also is kind of a like a little hint at Balloon Boy. And I think these chairs are really cool. Like they're very diner-esque, and also when I look at them, I instantly think of Chuck E. Cheese. So. And then placing some condiments on the table. Now, later on I go into debug mode and I put a lot of debug stuff on the table. And I noticed when you're in debug mode, uh, a lot of things disappear. Also, when you have moved objects on and you hit Alt 9 to raise things up, then they actually also disappear. And I noticed this and you'll see me like struggling with this. Like, I don't know if you know who Daily Gracie is, but she also has this issue, and I've never had this issue before, but this was my first time working with debug mode, and I want to say it's debug mode that's the issue. It's either debug mode or the Alt-9 key, so... I actually don't know that if you're in this... Will debug mode stuff disappear? Says so the cupcake and having Chica hold it. Happily, the cupcake doesn't 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 disappear. But I go in to change the color of the cupcake to the actual cupcake. So um, sadly, I have not play tested this, so I don't know if this works or not. Pretty sure it does making Bonnie here. I sized him up to make him look animatronic-like. And we're just gonna go on and give him a purple bathing suit. Now, I had a lot of issues dressing the mannequins. Um, if you have mannequins, I believe same gender, they cannot be wearing the same... the uh, same... what do you want to call it? Category of clothing? Like, one can't be wearing swimwear, and the other can't be wearing swimwear. So, I don't know. That was, like, an issue I was having. As you can see, we put brown clothes on Freddy because we had a black mannequin. There are no brown mannequins. And then here's where you'll see I'll start having this issue. Like, I wanted to dress Foxy and stuff, and, I don't know, it just wasn't working. Very piratey. Arg. And then we'll go over to the other mannequins and up oh, look, not one but two <laughs> mannequins are not wearing the outfits they're supposed to be wearing. So I don't know, it was just an issue that I was having. Have if any of you have get to work, have you had this issue? Or is it just me? Am I doing something wrong? I don't know. I'm choosing like the same color clothing as the mannequin itself. That's because the animatronics in the game really aren't wearing pants or anything. The only one who's wearing an article of clothing is um, Freddy and his hat and Chica and her shirt. That's about it. This is when I start placing security cameras around, and I was trying to think of like, okay, from all the angles in the game, where are the cameras usually at? So, I would think I placed more than there actually are in the first game, but oh well. Placing some party stuff down. I found these really creepy babies. They're like, I don't know if you know um, what Gmod is, but like, they're the Gmod stiffy kind of thing. And they're just babies, and I'm like, oh, that's creepy, I want to put that into the backstage area, because the backstage area is like where all the creepy stuff happens. And a foxy little treasure chest for his pirate cove, making it look more festive. And that's when I found the corrupt cupcake. I actually found pizzas too, which I didn't know they were in debug mode, so you can get pizzas for free. Now 
was actually for encounters and stuff, and I think that these were from debug mode, so that's why I really couldn't place a cash register on them. So. And I believe there is a sign outside Foxy's Pirate Cove that says something. I don't know what it says, so I put a sign there. And just sizing up signs. Sadly, you cannot size up the neon signs. I thought that would be cool, but I can't do it, so. I was very disappointed when I was looking through the um, retail stuff. I thought there would be more counters for like the front of a store, but there actually isn't, so that's a bit of a bummer. But I love the Inkspan track, it's amazing. It had so much in the game, I love it. It's just, I feel like that's the only disappointing thing to me, which really shouldn't be that disappointing. Adding doors that look like extreme security doors. I'm gonna go on to make that yellow mannequin, Golden Freddy. So I decided to place him in the gold sparkling jumpsuit. I wasn't gonna do it at first, I'm like, no, that's not right. And I'm like, you know what? I like it because it has a gold vest and I'm just like, it looks hilarious. So I went over doing that. As you can see, things disappeared. I don't understand why you did that, I think. I don't know. I'm going on to make the bathroom stalls. I kind of wish that there were bathroom stalls. Like, I'm pretty sure there are bathroom stalls in The Sims 3, if I'm not mistaken. Like, I recall seeing them in like some Simmers LPs and stuff. So yeah. But you know, I, I'm not the kind of person who's like, ugh, why isn't this in the game? Like it's so hard. Like I can deal. And I actually really like this idea because those sinks, I would always go to Chuck E. Cheese with my camp like all the time and those sinks remind me of Chuck E. Cheese. So I put them in there because the bathroom's at Chuck E. Cheese. Um, I don't know if they have Chuck E. Cheese places that are in America. I'm pretty sure they do. I'm pretty sure it's like a worldwide company. But, I don't know, that's just what it reminded me of. And then I was going to go ahead and- oh, well, never mind. I was going to go place shelves in the other room, but- Oh, that's when I noticed more stuff got deleted. It doesn't technically get deleted, it gets moved to your- inventory. Which is kind of annoying. And I like the shelves because those are actually like the actual backstage of the game. Which in my opinion is like one of the creepiest rooms in the game. So... I'm just placing down tables. Now I had a bit of a lighting glitch. Those are the same color table, same table. But they're... The lighting is off on one table, one's lighter than the other, and I couldn't figure out what the heck the issue was, so... I was originally gonna have another purple body, and then an empty Freddy suit, and then a blue body, which would be reference toy body in the second game. I go on to change the color of that purple body, I go ahead and make it like an orange-yellow color, and that's a reference, as I did now, that's a reference to Springtrap in the third game. No, I'm not like a huge Bonnie fan, it just happened to be that way. I'm going on to make the office now, and I use those pictures as like the light and door button. I thought that's really cool, because I actually have a build that I didn't do a speed build for or anything. It's like a hotel and I kind of made like an elevator and I use those pictures as like buttons as up and down. And I really like the new uh, squared TVs. I think that those made the build look like, really cool to make it look like monitors because um, there really aren't any... I don't know how to explain it. Like, in the g <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I 
don't even know what I was gonna say. Making a little arcade area. Now, in the first game, I I don't know if there was an actual arcade or not. I'm pretty sure there was. Um, but, I don't know. I just wanted, like, an area for games and stuff to make it more feel like a kid's arcade-ish pizza place. Again, Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I was gonna have those show lights there, but I didn't really like them there. I feel like they should only be on the animatronics. Just putting some pictures around. There is a garbage truck outside my house. <laughs> I'm going on to make the supply closet now. Oh, never mind, I lied. <laughs> Those boxes end up getting deleted and lowering themselves, so that was an issue. I gave um, Mike a tablet because if you play the game, then you know that your thing's actually a tablet that you're looking at. It's not, it's not really a tablet, but we all know it's a tablet. Let's be real here. I was originally going to make that into an actual kitchen. But then I'm like, you know what, we don't know what the kitchen looks like in the game, so I'm just going to block it out. And I put Golden Freddy in there because that's where, where everyone theorizes Freddy, Golden Freddy actually is in the game. So... I kind of hate how every time you save the... the um... <sighs> what do you want to call it? Is it a graph? I don't know. It gets turned back on, on the ground. Uh, I don't know what to call it. I'm gonna call them the graph. The graph on the ground. You know when you hit G and you can turn it off? Yeah. Almost everything on the shelf that I'm putting on there got deleted. So I'm like... Like, he became so glitchy. Like, I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to do this, this, and this, and it turned out really cool and I really liked it. I'm like, oh, they would have cleaning stuff in the supply closet, they would have this in the supply closet. And then when I went back, I'm like, where's everything? I'm like, it's in my family inventory, of course. Like, they would keep extra condiments back here, and just... The game decided to crap on my parade, like, nope, you can't have that. Not allowed. I am so sorry if you can hear that. There is seriously a recycling truck outside my house, and for some reason it's backing up. And I have no clue why. What the heck was that? I have no clue what's going on outside. I'm sorry. Um, I wasn't paying attention to what was happening. Oh, it's changing the name of the restaurant to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Adding more lights around. Now, I didn't really light it up that much, and that was because it is a very ominous game. And I decided to use that brick because I'm like, that's like an Italian ish restaurant. And I'm like, oh, look at that. Everything got deleted. Yay. I couldn't figure out where that third condiment bottle came from. Like, I really had no clue where that came from. See, everything got shifted down or got deleted, and it was just like... I'm trying to figure out the roof, because I didn't want to give it an actual roof, because we all know the game in the 2D form that it is, so I'm like, why make it more 3D than it is to us, so...
putting a little border on the roof. I love doing like garden work so like when I do this part like I get really into it but doing like decoration work for the outside is a different story but garden work I'm always happy to do. Um, and then I go on to place like a giant Freddy Fazbear stuffed animal out here and I thought that would be like a like a giant thing saying hey come on to Freddy Fazbear's pizza. saving the game here and I'm gonna cut the screenshots. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. Leave a like and a comment down below and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and yeah. And remember guys this is not just my channel, this is your channel too. Bye!